Well, at the Oregon Food Bank, you know, more than 252,000 children aren't always sure where their next meal is coming from. In Oregon alone, almost half of all of Oregon school-age kids qualify for free and reduced price meals. That's why we're fortunate to have the Oregon Food Bank, and that's where we are now. So glad you're with us on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Is reading, writing, and arithmetic enough of a well-rounded education for our kids? Not according to Dennis Hickey. Please welcome Dennis from uh, Executive Director of Young Audiences. Thank you very much for being here. You're welcome. You know, it's sad that uh, those core classes are what's being taught in the schools because the money for the peripheral, and I'm not going to say even extracurricular, but the peripheral education is dwindling. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, obviously, the e economy has affected all kinds of you know aspects of our life and our world, but in particular, education. And uh, education right now has uh, limited resources, and they're really dedicated to a core curriculum. And it's really hard to to uh, to broaden that use uh, to include things like arts or, or science or health even. How is Young Audiences trying to change this? Young Audience is really an organization that's really trying to bridge um, uh, artists and, and uh, funders and donors to directly to classrooms. We're trying to bring programs into the classrooms along a continuum, everything from assemblies and, and uh, uh, field trips to, to places like the uh, ballet or theater uh, to in-depth experiences for kids where artists come in and work in the classroom over a series of, of days or weeks. Now, are you finding in this economy that uh, people, or schools, excuse me, aren't able to afford this type of uh, activity? Yeah, it's a, there's, there certainly is an impact. There certainly has been a drawdown in terms of, of access to, to uh, I think, a lot of extracurricular uh, activities. This being a core area, really, in my opinion, mm -hmm. uh, an essential core area, we have, we have seen um, a drawdown in, in uh, schools and, and districts' ability to, to uh, put these programs together for their students. And Young Audiences is a nationwide program? Yes, it is. Yeah, we're one of 33 affiliates, and our parent uh, organization is in New York City. Now, when you say artists come to the classroom or, or they put on assemblies, is this something that students can watch, listen, uh, or is it more interactive with the kids? Uh, the, uh, they're often more interactive. Well, you, you know, uh, kids, you've got to keep them busy. Uh, they they want to be involved. They, they want to have hands-on experiences. And so even when we do have an assembly where uh, there may be something staged for them, music, theater, uh, that sort of thing, often the artists, uh, we've worked with the artists to say, how can you uh, make this more interactive? Now, once we move into the classroom, of course, that's really hands-on, uh, really uh, authentic art experience for students. Now, these artists aren't only trained in what their particular expertise is, but they're also trained in, in how to keep kids engaged, things such as that, right? Yeah, we're really proud of the cohort of artists we have. We, we work really hard uh, to make sure that when artists come into the classroom, uh, not only are they, uh, you know, uh, very competent in, in their own particular field and craft, um, but that they understand classroom management and they understand real uh, instructional methodologies. Now, I wouldn't imagine it's hard to convince schools that they need programs like this. It's just hard to find where the funding's going to come yeah, from. Yeah, I think uh, what, what our research data, and I think uh, across the state and across the nation, is uh, there's a high regard, and, and uh, the arts are valued. Um, so it, it's, it's really not about uh, convincing anything, anyone, that they're positive and healthy experience and, and worthwhile uh, and appropriate. It's, it's really just uh, trying to uh, put all the resources together uh, to, to make them happen. And, and where does young audience get its funding from? Uh, from a number of sources. Uh, our programs, uh, our program, some of our programs do bring in some revenue, uh, although not much. We, we rely very heavily on foundation, corporate sponsors, and to a tremendous degree on individual donors. And celebrating uh, our stars is coming up February 11th. Yeah, our gala, our gala is uh, coming up February 11th, um, uh, celebrating our stars. And uh, we see our stars as our, our donors and funders, our artists, and our students. Okay. We're going to celebrate all of that. Dennis Hickey, thank you very much for being here on Comcast Newsmakers. And we want to thank you for being here as well for the crew. I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.